What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. I have the brand new Active 2.0 pressure washer. Finally going to get a chance to use this. Woo! Crowd cheers and all that shit. Yay! Ooh, I don't know if I could say that. So it finally rained here in Los Angeles and I had the car parked outside. So I don't know if you could see it, but it's just water spots and dirt. And plus I've been parking in the dirt at work. So we're good to test out this pressure washer, see if we like it. I know I will like it. Also, ooh, check this out. I'm using these today. These are the DJA mics. Look it up, they're cool. I think we should start washing. Oh, I know what I was gonna say. So I have it mounted up over here on this shelf. Two fittings that I ordered are somewhere lost in the Amazon world. Good job, Prime Day, yay. I ordered 290 degrees, so this will just go off that way and come around here and be a lot simpler and a lot cleaner. But you're gonna come along and wash with me. And if you stick with it, you will win a prize at the end. Psych. <laughs> This setup is just starting off. I um, plan on replacing the hose with a 3 8 hose as well as upgrading. So this was just something that I bought off of Amazon a while ago when I was using the old Harbor Freight pressure washer. But now I feel like since I'm upgrading to a better pressure washer, I want to upgrade to my gun and I want to upgrade my hose. But I already got this plugged in, the water line connected, and there's no leaks anywhere. I'm so happy for now. All right, let's turn this on, see what it sounds like. Way quieter than the other one. Way quieter. Jeez. And you can feel the pressure on the gun when it's shooting out. So I'm about eight feet from the pressure washer, which is sitting right over there. Hey, look at that guy. I have the shotgun microphone on. That way I can see a little bit of difference in sound. I'm also gonna post a clip from the other pressure washer that I was using. The Craftsman pressure washer from Lowe's with that weird shut off squeak. Drove me nuts. Anyways, let's get started. Let's watch this car. For the wheels, I use a Diablo brake cleaner. I don't know exactly what it's called, but you can find it on Amazon. And the Big Mouth Chemical Guys Foam Cannon. I like this one over the other one, partly because of the price and because of the Big Mouth opening. Big Mouth. Also, I haven't tried the other one. So I can't really say I like it over it. But I like the price, so the price wins. Detailer brush. Easy detailer wheel brush. Easy detailer wheel brush. You know what I don't like about this? You gotta pull out really slowly. Otherwise you get break and chemical shit all over you. Drive me nuts. Then all day long you smell like the brake stuff. Check one, one, two. Okay. I switched to the other microphone because I want to try this one out. And just talk to myself. See how I like it. Really, if I don't like it, there's no returning it now. It's past the Amazon return date. I 
I think of my next set of wheels um, going with a simple spoke not one with all these freaking little thing designs on it which is cool at first I saw it I was like oh I love that now I don't love it I don't not love it but I don't love it so I think it'll be a lot easier cleaning you know for the future plus I've seen too many STIs on stock wheels I don't mind to be different a little bit different I mean, we make so many different kinds of wheels, right? But that's not going to be for a minute. You know what they say. More money. More money, more money, more money. Yeah, that's cool. I do like these giant brake calipers. I always enjoyed cleaning them, making sure they were clean. I think I'm going to switch and put the GoPro on my forehead. I always like that point of view. Plus, the R5 overheats. Who's got time for that crap, right? Stupid overheating camera. I mean, wait, is it? Oh, nope. It hasn't started yet. Uh, let's get this brush. Yeah. When I get up, I'll switch cameras. Maybe. It's hot. Who wants to have that hot camera on your head right now? But, um... So, yeah. At work, right now... Parking in the dirt. So that means I'm gonna make another video probably. Very soon. This tire and rubber cleaner is like a multi purpose everything for rubber, including floor mats, I mean, and parts on the engine, the plastic black parts. Dude, it works so good. Another investment, smaller brush. This thing is just too big. There. That looks cool. So it looks cool. It looks clean. Ish for right now. Dude, and another thing about these wheels, they turn matte color when you know they're dirty. Or like when they're dirty, it's a matte color. the pressure that wow and you can tell it's shooting out a whole lot of water per minute I'm not gonna try it I'm not gonna be one of those tester peoples but I like that about it all right let's switch it up because you know this camera is about to start shutting itself off after the first 20 minutes of using it go oh, look how stupid I look <laughs> oh shit. All right, let's get this next wheel. You know what I help? If I push record on this camera. Booyah! Oh yeah. Put you over here. 
here. This looks so weird. It doesn't look weird, I don't know, but it feels weird. <sighs> Freaking sun reflection right there. Ela, check out those brake pads. Brake pad, brake calipers. And see what I mean by the brake dust? It's like a matte color. Yuck. I do wonder if I'm using up more product or how much more product I'm using up by using the foam gun versus the concentrate in the spray bottle. But I mean, I like this way more. I like it better. Oh, let's bring this around. This would be so much easier if I had somebody filming for me. But no. I get to film all by myself. Yeah, see how much see how much splash I got from that. Now I'm gonna smell like brake cleaner. Which by the way does not smell bad. Nope. It doesn't smell bad. But it does smell, and I notice it later. So yeah. Oh, you know what else I ordered for Prime Day? From Prime Day? Was a little wheel gerbil. Stupid name. But I got lost. Who knows where that's going to be here. I wonder if they just like give up, like, ah, he'll get a, he want a refund. But you know what? I want that sale price, so. Something I don't need. Oh, speaking of a sale price, you notice for Prime Day that everything was only like 10% off. 15, 20% off. Yeah, we noticed that Mr. Amazon Prime peoples. Executives. Let's get these little fifty million cracks. One thing that I always liked about it was the brake calipers. I remember that was a big selling point on this car. Or this year. I was like, I want the brake brake pads. Over the silver ones. I think that was mostly because my other car had them. I missed that car already. Of course, anytime I come outside, my neighbor comes outside. That's probably also why I have the garage door closed a little bit. I mean, you want to make a video? Hey. I think I'll come outside too. 
You know? But she's the coolest neighbors. I have the coolest neighbors. Yeah, I have some cool neighbors. Is that camera still rolling? It's still rolling. Who would have thought? these wheels how long would they take because before they were talking about three weeks or more but let me tell you that is a long ass time most people be like oh yeah six months blah 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 that's what I've been hearing well COVID's over why is that still happening Let's see if I could get that a little bit cleaner Wrong product, I know. But why not give it a shot? feeling I missed a step. I don't know what that is though. But yeah. Alright. Let's go the other side. Come on Bubba, let's go. Pressurizes so much faster than the other one. Yeah, two hands. I won't upgrade that gun because I mean it works. It works just fine and it was only $30. Maybe it was $20, I don't remember. But it doesn't have stainless steel. Not as fancy as the other ones. It doesn't have the built-in swivel. But that would just be cool. So yeah, I probably will. I mean, I really enjoy the whole pressure washer life. And plus, it's super relaxing. You just come out here, wash your car, talk to myself, watch TV. It's not 100 degrees. So I have to turn on the cooler region. By the way, if I did turn on the cooler, I mean cooler, I mean swamp cooler. And if I did turn it on, you wouldn't be able to hear me. All you hear is this annoying sound in the background. But right now, all you hear is the annoying sound, if that, is somebody outside talking. Everyone else like works their way down when they're doing the wheels. Like start here and then go down. That's where all the soap is. That's where it all ends up.
What do you think? Time for some in and out after this? Sure, why not? I'm also seriously considering lowering the car. And you know what's funny? Like everybody else, nope, I'll keep it stock. I'll keep it stock. But I kept my SRT4 stock. But back then, they didn't really have a lot of cool stuff as they do now. So, from the 205 error, it was getting a little harder to find aftermarket parts for that car since they discontinued it for so long. But, like on Subarus and Hondas, there's like a whole giant market. I have a feeling like later on it's going to be the same. It's going to be going to die down maybe but that's not going to happen for like another 10 years possibly 20 years so I think people are always going to want these cars and want to make parts for them so I think they're just going to keep on making them but anyways as I was saying stupid light turn back on don't turn back on. Sit there. Do nothing. Good job. As I was saying, if I lower it, I've been looking at the Fortune Auto. It's coilovers. But I'm not sure. I mean, I only have 20 minutes of research into researching them. And if anybody knows me, it's not about a hundred hours dedicated and just research, 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 looking at facts, looking at data, looking to see what other people are running, how they like it. I gotta do all of that first. So I think they're like 1400. I'm also looking at exhaust. Three things. Wheels, lower, exhaust, and then start on the engine. What you need it. Come on over here. There you go. Is that thing still going? It's still going. Let me double check and make sure this is actually recording. Exactly, is this one recording? I wonder. I hope it's recording what I want it to record. Another thing I'm looking into is the switch tracks. Because, you know, Normally, I am a photographer, and I use this garage for my studio, as you can see over there. So I like to have the floor looking, like to have this room looking okay decent. And I think with Swiss tracks, it'll be a lot easier to like wash the car in here and not worry about the paint peeling up. Yeah, I painted the floor with some stuff I found at Lowe's. I don't like how that looks. good thing about this brush is that it gets the sides front front back side sides <laughs> all at once <laughs> B 
But yeah, so far I could say that the active pressure washer was a good investment. And also, I did a lot of looking, a lot of reading, a lot of YouTubing. But the main one was from Obsessed Garage. He had early access. I much appreciate it. Okay. For a carbon fiber tripod, you sure are heavy. Two hands. Always two hands. And I am done. This gets warm. I wonder if anybody else does get warm. Like right here. That part. And this part. Both get warm. Interesting. B, yeah, I think this will look good lowered. The only problem is I sometimes do a little bit of off-roading. I, mean, I haven't done it in this car yet. I haven't gone off-roading in this car yet, but I mean, it's still early. And it's usually just going up certain road, dirt roads and hills, side of the mountains photo shoots or say like um, like when I'm out to El Mirage to do the photo shoot with Lady A that would have sucked in a lowered car because that whole flat dry lake bed is not made for lowered cars it's not really made for cars, period, but it is what it is. So yeah, Fortunatos are probably the way I'm going to go. But uh, as far as luring, I found, I want the gold wheels. I think I want gold wheels. We have to. Definitely do some thinking on that one. Because it's not like you just go sell them or return them. Yeah, you might just go return your wheels even if you don't like them. I mean, you're not stuck with them, but you're kind of stuck with them. You overheating yet? No? Okay. Yeah, you're kind of stuck with them. You know what I didn't check? Oh, wait, battery's dying. All right. Hang in there, little battery. See, this is what I hate, is this little freaking small little crack part. <laughs> crack. See, crack again. Crack. I kind of forgot what I was talking about. Exhaust wise, I mean, should we do that? Should we not do that? Right now it's on a Miltech exhaust, which 
I actually never heard of that company. Or I kind of want to go with Grimsby. Or the Touring Edition by AWE. And some cool black tips. Yeah, I know, the most expensive version, right? But hey, that's why we work. And we save. wheels clean change this battery and we'll be right back It's not leaking, it just has random crevices, water things in here, cracks. I mean, technically it's leaking, but not in the way you think. Let's just do a quick rinse. Dude, and it already shuts off that fast after all of that. That's so awesome. <laughs> This garage door, which I really did not want to do, but we're going to do, and my camera lens is dirty.
Why'd you let your camera? Because it's sitting right there. Didn't change it too much. Why are you stuck to my car? Sorry, you had to go out like that. Favorite part, you ready? Let's do it. Make sure. There.
Yeah, I just went from bottom to top, but. This grill is something that I want to change. It's like already in my cart. It's just a simple, basic, I mean, maybe carbon fiber. No, never mind. But just simple black mesh. And this octagon shit. Outside of my video. In case you're wondering why I am washing the back first, it's because of the sun. And yes, I know, that's the dirtiest part because of the exhaust. But you know what? head to the beach and you take the surfboards it's more fun and it looks amazing wait why are you retarded there you go thing I just bought new windshield wipers I mean I'll never use them because I mean I should say never but I don't know when I'll use them because it you know rarely rains but I'm sure I'll get to use them one day
These ring guards are kind of a pain in the ass too. You can never get your sponge in there. <laughs> Wait, did I flip? Nope. If I did, it doesn't really matter. That's why I do the pre-rinse. It's not like it's off-roading dirt style. So what do we think? Should we do first? Exhaust. Wheels. And if you think about it, you gotta do the tires too. Shoot. Cars are expensive. At least with cameras, it's like, you know what you're getting, what you want, but then you still want like more gear. You want a new backpack for that camera. By drone, you want the the care kit in case it flies away. Yeah, I bought that by the way. Oh, look at that. Right there. You can rock chip. I think we're gonna do the PPF eventually. I don't know when. Eventually. Oh, why is the front so dirty? Did I just ask that? Yeah, because it's the front of the car. Asshole. So, let's go back to this pressure washer thing. 350 dollars yeah I'd say it's worth the money I'm gonna have to rinse that off right now the back part. Because you're going to dry in the sun. Yeah, you're gonna dry in the sun, and I'm not gonna be happy because I got the sun spots. Let's try and get up in there. Without peeling the tape off, that would just suck.
I love washing my car. Everybody should like washing their car. I like washing my car, especially when it's quiet outside. Okay, good? Good. hungry. I'm hungry. Quiet time. So clean. Mm. All right, I'm just going to dry this off. There. Okay. Back to filming. So, just dried this back part. Kind of. I'm 
All right, now I can say I just tried this back part. Minus the spoiler. A diffuser. Spoiler diffuser. Diffuser spoiler. That's a funny name. Francisco. I don't think I washed this. I'm pretty sure I did not wash that. All right. So normally, these towels are great. But yeah, normally, I'd be using a drying aid like the bead maker, bead maker, not the bead maker, but bead maker, except I'm going to be parking in the dirt next week for two weeks until, yeah, until Halloween. So with that, I don't want to use it all, or I don't want to do it because I'm just going to end up washing it again next week anyways even though I'm parking in the dirt. Because that stuff is not cheap. But man, who would have thought like towels? Who would have thought towels make a difference when you're washing and drying your car? I mean, dang. But hey, it's worth the money. I think they paid $20 for two from the rag company, these two towels. That's a good investment. I haven't spent $20 on a gallon of gas. <laughs> Not really, but I'm gonna spend $20 on something else anyways burger, food, some eating out, you know what I mean? I'm gonna spend that money, $20 on something else anyways, might as well just use it on the car. But if I continue to keep washing my car in the garage, I'm for sure gonna have to do something about this floor. Because the floor is slippery for one, two, the paint and water is just not getting along. Everything costs money, never make enough money. So I think I might need two more of these towels. What do you think? Ooh, good idea. Look at me just leaning all up on it. Dang, Dante. Daniel, come over here. Say hi. I think that helps a little. Actually, no, I don't need two more. I get through half a car with one towel. 
But they're thick. I mean, listen to that. Super thick. Nice thick towels. I also have been thinking about that deionized water thing. But I don't know. I'm not trying to go that far into cleaning the car. There certainly is other things besides the $500 water system. And then I don't know if my water is even that hard, even that bad. I definitely get water spots. But do I need to go that route? Not yet. Would it be cool? <laughs> Absolutely. I think if I was like a detailer, then yes. But you never know. You never know. Say you don't need it. Next thing you know, I'm waiting for FedEx, UPS, Amazon, for somebody to come and drop it off. And I'm like, why did I buy that? <laughs> oh. Oh, no. Yeah, you can see like water spots on the windshield. I wonder if that's what the whole deionized thing takes care of. I just don't know. I think somebody should just sponsor me. And that way I can say, hey, this product, blah, 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 blah. That's not happening anytime soon. You know what? I'm not even going to do the tire dressing because, well, you know why. I just don't want to waste the product. I mean, cleaning the tires itself, that's a must. But I don't know if I actually need to go that other route. How you get rid of water spots. Alright, last panel. And then go get some foods. I'm not gonna get it, I'm gonna go make something. Cause I'm hungry and that breakfast burrito is already wearing off.
wearing off. Not wearing off, burning off. This is why I don't do black cars. I could never keep those clean. They should have a setting for Apple Watch for car washing. I wonder if they do, they have a bunch of other ones. All right, clean. I say it's clean. All right, the STI is nice and clean. And so far, I just gotta say that I really, really like how this performed. I mean, it's quiet. It doesn't make a weird squeaky noise like I talked about in the other one. Um, it's just all around a really good, a really good product. I'm happy that I'm happy with this purchase. If you're thinking about getting it, I think you should get it. Uh, right now, I'm just gonna go and I'm going to do the door jams with some quick detailer and just wipe down some, open the trunk and the hood and wipe down all the cracks and stuff from there. But right now, first, it's time to go eat. All right, that's it for this video. Look how spotted my lens is. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.